track work starts for jockeys every morning, six days a week, Monday to Saturday. 4.30, Morpherville track opens. Morpherville's our main centre here in South Australia. There's about eight race courses around the state where training happens from. And I might run in there between sort of uh, six to 12 horses a morning and uh, most of the jockeys are the same. The work ethic on anyone in the racing industry, especially in South Australia, is enormous. And, and it has to be. You've got to be able to work hard to, to be in this industry and work even harder to be successful. We can sit here and tell you what it's all about, but until you experience it, um, you don't really know. It's not all, not all roses. You've got to be dedicated. Um, I've probably been lucky enough that through my career I've had some nice horses. Um, it's probably kept me afloat. So I was lucky enough to have that come through. And now I'm back driving a truck and working on a few slow horses. But they are youngsters. More often than not, you know, yet you are having a battling time. So the next day it can be quite challenging to get up, but today's a new day and it's onward and upward. There's always another race. Obviously, you, apart from your riders, you, you have to have people on the ground to support that. I employ a few people at the stables and yeah, they live in Goolwa from as far as Mount Barker and uh, it's a big part of, uh, the, um, of the racing industry. There's a lot of responsibility that goes with um, having 17 people on the team, a lot of them got families and uh, as uh, the lights go off at night you do occasionally lie in bed sort of making sure that the numbers stack up and that you can sustain it and that uh, there is um, underneath it all a business that needs to be run and operate. The role of racing in the country towns, it basically touches every corner of the whole uh, district. It um, affects the economy in a huge, huge way. Whether it's the uh, main street traders with fashions, whether it's the fodder stores with feed, and of course they've got to get that from somewhere, so that comes from the farmers who grow it. Then we've got people that make saddles, we've got taxis that drive people to the races, and um, just about anything that you think about involved in race day, whether it be country or city, uh, it affects someone. Someone gets a rub off out of it somewhere. We like to support the local economy as, as much as what our local horse trainers will support us. The South Australian economy would definitely be well helped by the um, horse trainers here, it's based in Moorfield but also across South Australia. It's a massive market obviously and it employs a lot of people. I remember in the 80s, this was the uh, breeding mecca in Australia. This was better than the Hunter Valley. We bred beautiful horses out of South Australia. If you look at Bart Cummings, Colin Hayes, John Hawkes, you know, the famous trainers who have had to move into state, not because they don't like Adelaide, it's because they had to move for their businesses. We can breed good trainers, good horses, we can get it back going again, and there's enough passion around in the game in South Australia to get it right, uh, but we need help. We can't do it on our own, and we need government support. I go to the races three or four times a week, so what I do is I spend my time with um, that yeah. people that that is their life, uh, whether it be um, me as a race caller or a steward or a jockey or a trainer, I mean that's their life. Race day uh, in a country meeting can be a really long day, for example um, Mount Gambia on a Sunday, you're up on the road, it's a five hour drive, you have to be at the races an hour before the first race, um, you're there all day. Uh, you might sort of have four or five rides and run down the track and, uh, and then you get home another you know, five hours home at 10 o'clock at night and then you've got to get up the next morning again at four o'clock when the alarm goes off to start it all over again. I normally get to the races around about two hours before races start. Once the racing starts I probably be at the barrier watching the starts making sure if something goes wrong then I'm there to offer advice to the stewards as to whether that horse can, can run or not. Then I'll be involved in drug sampling during the day, involved in looking at horses that don't perform up to scratch, and uh, you see all sorts of emotions from all sorts of people, and it's, it's a just great community to work with. Generally, the whole lot is run by volunteers. We all get in, pitch in, and we get a lot of people from uh, just outside the committee itself 
uh, pitch in and help because they know how valuable it is for race day to be a great day. Cup day in all of these country towns or provincial areas, it's incredibly important for the, uh, the, the town and for the club and you know just for the economy really and the people that it brings through the gates and, um, and, and the enjoyment it brings as well. That's the thing, that's why people want to go because it's a good day out. The industry here needs a lot of help. It is on a knife's edge and it cannot afford to go back anymore. There's no racing industry in any of the other states that has not had government support. It needs, needs some help, it needs to kick along and needs to get us in the right direction. We only have to look across our borders to see how racing um, is sort of nurtured and looked after and, and thought about by the governments. They fully realise uh, in those states exactly what it means to them and it means heaps to us here too. My grandfather always said that the future belongs to those who plan for it and we've got to be a pretty glass half full I think in our industry. Um, there's certainly there's upside, I, I think there's opportunity. We don't have to be defeatist about where we are as an industry, where we are as a state. Some of the best horse people in Australia come from South Australia. If we are the best at what we do in SA, we can be the best at what we do in Australia and in the world. So I think that's where we've got to focus on is where we want to go. We want to reverse engineer our business, our industry, and say, let's just go, go for it. But we've got to do it cooperatively and with the help of a lot of people, um, and but I'm confident that we can get there.